This is Evan. When Evan was born, no one said anything to his parents about him having ankyloglossia, which is more commonly known as being tongue-tied. As a toddler, his parents noticed he had a difficult time saying many words. Do you want to do a song for me? Okay. Oh, As first-time parents, they just thought it was cute and did not realize he had a problem. When he was around age three, they took him to a pediatric dentist. The dentist stated that Evan was tongue-tied and he assumed the parents knew, but they did not. They took him to a surgeon to discuss what needed to be done. They were told he needed surgery, a phrenectomy. What was the surgery like? From what I remember, surgery was pretty serious. I knew this because I received all sorts of cards and presents in the mail beforehand. I was wheeled around the hospital in some sort of bed to what seemed like forever. I eventually was put into some room. I have a distinct memory of some guy putting a mask over my nose and mouth and me screaming I can't breathe. That was the last I remember of it. He recovered quickly, but he needed help with his speech. When he started kindergarten, he was evaluated by a speech pathologist and she began working with him on a regular basis. How many years of speech were needed and was it successful? I was in speech class up until the first couple of years of grade school, I believe. So I guess around three or four years or so. I would go maybe once or twice a week at some time during the school day for like half an hour. And I hated to go to it, but I can't say it didn't work. I don't have any speech problems anymore, or so I'm told. He had problems with affricates, CH and J sounds, fricatives, TH and SH sounds, and problems with liquids such as R and L sounds in all speaking situations. He also spoke really fast and his words slurred together. His speech pathologist outlined a plan regarding what needed to be done and Evan's parents were given regular assessments of his progress. What was it like having a speech pathologist? It was definitely an interesting experience. I never thought I had problems so I didn't want to go see her. I always tried to convince her that I was good now and that she didn't need to help me anymore. It never worked. She made me do countless reading and speaking exercises every time I went. Did attending speech class affect your schooling? I don't believe so. I probably learned more having to go to a speech pathologist once or twice a week than I would have in class anyway. I don't really remember my speech problem hindering my ability to contribute in the classroom either. After two years in speech therapy, Evan is fully recovered and he is more confident in his public speaking abilities. Today at 22, he attends Ithaca College in New York. He is pursuing a business degree and his focus is in internet marketing. We thank Evan for his participation in our CSD 200 video project. You make me